What's up everybody, Scott Johnson here with Pit Home Buyers. Hope you're doing awesome. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you again about one of our core values. These are things that are really important to us, which is why I'm doing a series on them. So the next one I wanna to talk to you about is communication. And this really got driven home for me when I started looking for a broker in charge since I just got my real estate license. I mean, you already know that if you've watched our past videos or I'm getting it. Now they're going through the review process, so I'm kind of waiting. Uh, but, um, you know, it got driven home when I started looking over the policies and procedures for this brokerage. Right. And one thing I found was they said, hey, listen, when a lead comes in, there is a 10 minute timer on that lead when it reaches your doorstep, when it reaches your uh, your uh, CRM, right? And if you do not call it in 10 minutes, it goes to another agent. I was like, wow, now that's powerful. And what they're really trying to instill is communication. Why would they do that? Well, it's because the first person to talk to the, the uh, uh, prospect is the first person who can say, hey, let's sit down. And if you sit down with them, you're likely the first person that's gonna get that listing, okay? Because that's what we primarily work in is listings. We really don't work as buyers, buyer's agents. We have great recommendations for people who are looking to buy a property, but we're just for the sellers, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, and so that really hit, made it hit home with me because we've had communication as our core value for literally like over a year and a half since we actually started using core values, which more businesses should, but don't. That's another story. Uh, but you know, communication is important to us because when we get a lead in, in fact, if you give us, if you actually, <laughs> if you uh, fill out our form, at 12 o'clock or two in the morning, you will get an email from us at 12 o'clock or two in the morning. So just be prepared for that, all right? Um, we may not respond immediately afterwards. I just wanna make sure that we get that out to you. But the next morning, we're on the phone, we're calling. We just uh, had a property we took a look at um, in the Camelot subdivision in Greenville, North Carolina. It's uh, on Avalon Drive. And you know, she, uh, sent in the, uh, she sent in the form at 7 p.m. I shot her an email. Uh, she responded about an hour or two later. I was asleep, woke up in the morning, eight o'clock on the dot. I called her. And then as I was talking to her, I look in the little notes that she put when she's filling out the form. And it says, best time to reach, evening. I was like, I am so sorry. <laughs> because we're just so on it to where we want to make sure we get in touch with you guys right away. Uh, because that's the best way to provide service as far as we're concerned. You know, we want to be the uh, company you or your friends or your family can reach out to when you need to sell your house uh, to be able to get a cash offer quickly so that if you don't accept the cash offer, you can look at all your other options. You have time to explore. All right. You can talk to other agents. Hell, when I give you a listing offer, I'm not saying, hey, listen, you need to you need to list with us right now. Now, I'd like it if you listed with us, if you chose that over our cash offer. Uh, but at the same time, I completely understand if you need to look at other options, maybe a friends and family, totally fine with that. But the cool thing about our cash offers, it's interesting, is that they are good even after you list the property and you decide, ah, I'll just take the cash offer, I'm done with this, all right? Anyway, that was a side note. But uh, communication is something we hold near and dear and we do our best to exemplify it every time or in every situation. Like if someone texts me and says, hey, listen, I had a question about how you do this. Boom, I text them. Had a guy call about a uh, mobile home lot we're selling. Boom, I called him. Then he texted me again today. Boom, I text him. All right. Uh, so we're always, always, always striving to be better with our communication. Uh, so, you know, I, I hope that was informative for you guys and helped you understand what our core value of communication really means to us. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and uh, make sure to subscribe so you get all the awesome content that's coming your way uh, to help educate you so you can make a better decision when you're selling your house. All right. Also, if you know someone who could really benefit from it, go ahead and hit the share button, copy it, you know, copy the link, send it to them, or heck, just post it on Facebook. Why not? You know, I mean, more businesses need to know. If you went to a business who you think that communication is a big issue with these guys, Go ahead and copy this. And by the way, 
just in case you guys do, all right, listen up business. Whoever the heck you are, don't care who you are, communicate. Communication is key. It's gonna help you build your business and build your reputation. I was just reading a book that said that reputation comes before profits always. And one of the best ways to build that reputation is by communicating. So I hope this helps you too. Now get off your butt and do it. So anyway, y'all, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.